Hey guys, Frox here. Hope you're all well. What you're looking at in front of you is my Xbox. Now, after the success I had on the previous Xbox where I put a SATA or drive in there, what I've decided to do is do the same with my Xbox and upgrade the R drive in it. Now, the maximum size R drive you can put in an Xbox is two terabytes. And you'd have to be insane to put a two terabyte hard drive in an Xbox. Yeah, it's a good job I'm insane. I'm going for it. I'm going to put a two terabyte hard drive in this Xbox. So if you give me five minutes to set up, I'll crack on with that. Okay, as you can see, I have the 2TB R drive in the Xbox. Now, just a word of caution, if you're going to use one of these IDE to SATA adapters, you're also going to need to update your IDE cable. The old 40-pin cable that's in the Xbox just won't cut it. You'll need to update it to an 80-pin, because if you don't, you'll get R drive timeouts, error 7s. Now, what I want to do now is power on this Xbox and see what error code I get. If I get error code 19 or 13, that's a really good sign. That means it can access the hard drive, but it can't load the dash. Now that's obvious because obviously there's nothing on it yet. But if I get error seven, it could mean I have a problem with the SATA to ID adapter or the IDE cable. So I'm gonna power on and see what error code I get. And I get error 13. So that's a really good sign. That means it can access the hard drive. It just can't load the dash. Now what I need to do now is use Hexen to copy the new dash over so I can partition and format F and G drives. So I'm going to set up my tripod and I'll get on with that. Okay, as you can see, I'm booted into Hexen. Now, when you boot Exxon from the DVD-ROM drive, it can take a few minutes for the actual disk to boot. So just be aware of that if you do do this and you put your Exxon disk into your DVD-ROM drive and it doesn't boot straight away, just be aware it can take a couple of minutes. Now, what I did off camera was, like you probably saw in my previous video, when you put a new disc in, Exxon will say, detected a new disc, do you want to format it? Now what I've done is I've just gone ahead and done that. Now what I want to do now is copy a new dash over to the new hard drive. And I also want to copy the files over so I can partition F and G. As you can see, there's nothing on F and G at the moment. So what I want to do is go down to number three, TSOP flash chip Xbox tools. I want to go to 3.5 which is chip flash Xbox disk upgrades and I want to go to 3.5.4 which is new disk PAL Xbox. Now obviously if you're in the NTSC region you want to go for 3.5.3 but I'm going for 3.5.4 because I'm in the PAL region and I'm just going to click that. And the password is AYBX. Yeah, so I'm just going to skip boot all the way through this. So now what it's doing is it's just copying over the new dash and the files I need to partition F and G drives. So I'm just going to skip past this bit, guys. Exxon is finished, copying the new dash over to the R drive. What I've done is I've taken the Exxon disk out the DVD ROM drive. Now when I boot, it should boot from the R drive and it should be Unleash X dashboard so I'm going to power on the Xbox now and fingers crossed we see Unleash X
and there we go on the Shex dashboard now the tool should be on there for me to be able to partition and format F and G ignore these numbers these are wrong at the moment because I haven't partitioned F and G yet so I'm going to do that now So okay let's partition F and G to the correct sizes. Now what I need to do is go down to Xbox Admin, Applications and there's Xbox Partition at 1.3. As you can see I'm in the Xbox Partitioner, 6 is F, 7 is G. Um, now there's a trick to doing this when you're using a 2 terabyte hard drive what I'll do is I'll put a link to the forum where I find this trick at um, if you just go straight and do it like this there you get an error you can see ER, you can see that error you get an error code so what you have to do is you have to get it to this point and then you have to drop it one on each one and then you press start to write the table and then what we need to do is we need to re reboot the Xbox again And we need to do it again, so it was Xbox Admin, Applications, Xbox Partitioner. But this time what we do is we enable the full size of the drive. So instead of dropping it one, we, we bump it back up one. go up to 27, 27, now if I write the partition table by pressing start and we reboot the Xbox we should get the correct size of drive for F and G And there we go, if you look at F, almost one terabyte, and G, almost one terabyte. So there you go, there's a two terabyte hard drive in an Xbox. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to check Xbox Partitioner again, just to make sure there's not an error. and there's not because you see where it says 64 if it says error error means something's gone wrong and you have to redo it but as you can see everything's fine 
Okay, I'm all bolted back together. Uh, what I've just done off camera is copy over the old dash that was originally on this Xbox. Um, I use the Evolution X. I just like that because it's it's simple and easy to use. So what I'm going to do now is power on the Xbox and let you see that. And there we go. If you look at the space on F, I have almost a terabyte. And the same on G drive as well. So yeah, this Xbox has a two terabyte R drive in it. Now, if you want to know how insane that is, think of it like this. Uh, this Xbox has got more storage space than an Xbox One X. And more storage space than a PlayStation 4 Pro. How insane is that? <laughs> so yeah, there you go guys, I'm done. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. All the usual stuff. And as always, I'll catch you on the next one. Yeah, playing Conquer Live and Reloaded on a 2 terabyte Xbox. Doesn't get much better than that. Ha 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 ha